Well, hello there. Welcome back to part two of Not Enough Dobie Bars. Um, so I'm sitting at my loom and I have my bars on there, the ones that are acting as our treadles. And I needed nine instead of eight. I misspoke in the last video. And I just wanted to show you my setup. Nine was not enough to reach, to have it tight enough. So I had to use three empty ones. So I have a total of 12 on here, but I had to use three empty ones as filler. There's no pegs in them and they're not labeled, but they're just there so that it's, you know, tight enough and set up for me to start weaving. Um, the next thing I wanted to say is this is my eye level. Well, sort of this is my eye level, but I can kind of lift myself up a little and see that this is eight. So I know that if this is treadle eight, then treadle seven's down there. And that's how I know where I am on my treadle because each bar is my treadle in this instance. So this is treadle seven. And when I start weaving again, I'm going to work on number seven, treadle seven. Um, it I did a little weaving with it. It's not very inconvenient at all. I just have to make sure that I'm looking at the pattern and keeping up where, the, where I am on the pattern versus having it like this. Now, when you have it this way, you don't have to look at a pattern or keep up because your whole pattern is right there. All your repeat is right there. But when you don't have access to that many bars and you need a way to do something that has a treadling of... 34 or even 68 in my case or however many you want to do a treadling of this is the great option to use you just have to make sure everything is labeled and you can see where you are and you have your pattern set up so that you know and, and mark it um, but whether it's a printout or you leave it on your computer to mark it to know where you are on it so I'm going to do a little weaving so you can see what it looks like when I'm actually weaving with it. Um, and it's pretty easy. I've done a little weaving so far. As you can see, the pattern is pretty much the same. And I mean, nothing messed up because I, uh, well, I kind of messed up a little area right over there. <laughs> Once again, I've got a smile. What happened was I went to advance my warp a little bit and I guess something is uneven. And I have a little space here, a little gap. But that's okay. That's fine. Um, this this project isn't for anyone or anything in particular. I'm just trying out double width just to try it out. I don't know what I'm going to do with this fabric when I am done. So that is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're weaving it and you have to turn it just a few times to get to your number and you have to keep, you know, something around so that you know what pattern you're on versus just having it all right there. Okay? 